Hi, welcome to VMware Tutorial for Beginners. In this series, we are learning how to make a home lab with VMware Workstation step-by-step -step for network and system administration practices. In the previous video, I have shown you how to import and export virtual machine to the VMware Workstation, and we converted a physical system to a virtual machine. Today, we will work with several feature of VMware Workstation, like virtual machine snapshot, cloning a VM, we will access host share folder from virtual machine, and we will enable VNC connection on VM. So, lot to cover today. Let's get started. Let's talk about snapshot. So, what is a snapshot? A snapshot is a state of the virtual machine. We can save a virtual machine state. Suppose you need to upgrade a software, but if you upgrade it, it has chance to create system incompatibility in the guest OS. In that case, you can create a snapshot of the virtual machine, and if the system incompatibility arises, you can revert back to the original state. So this is called the snapshotting of the virtual machine. Let me show you the practicals. Let's go to snapshot, snapshot manager. So it says the, we are here. Okay, so now, Let's create a file. Let's say we can say state one. Now take the snapshot, snapshot one. So it is saving snapshot here. In the meantime, we can work. So we can see the snapshot manager. Now delete the file, create another file called state2. Now now take another snapshot. Now we can see we have two snapshot, snapshot one and snapshot two. Now if you want to revert back the virtual machine to state one, then we can go to snapshot one and we can click go to. So it says by restoring the snapshot, the current state will be lost. Do you want to restore snapshot one? Yes. It's restoring virtual machine state. We will see the state one file in the desktop. Here you can see this is the state one. Now if you want to go to state two, we can restore the state two. Click go to. Restoring the virtual machine state. Here, this is state two. Hope you understand the snapshotting. This is actually a state of virtual machine and we can move around different state of the virtual machine anytime. Now let's go to the cloning. So what is cloning? Cloning is copying virtual machine with its current state. If we need several copy of the virtual machine, we can create clone. Now let's go to manage, clone, click next, clone from the current state of the virtual machine. So we have two types of clone, a linked clone and a full clone. A linked clone is a reference to the original virtual machine and requires less disk space to store. However, it cannot run without access to the original virtual machine. We can create linked clone that will be small in size, but all the linked clone requires the main copy of the virtual machine to run. What we normally do, we create a full clone of the virtual machine. A full clone is a complete copy of the original virtual machine with its current state. The virtual machine is fully independent, but it requires more disk space to store. Click next. Let's say two. Yes. Click finish. So it's creating full clone, it's done. We can run the full clone. 
and we can run the original one also. So there is two different virtual machine. Here both system are up and you can see its name is lab one and this one is also lab one. So it's a full clone of this virtual machine. Now let's configure the shared drive. We need to work with the Windows machine. Let's go to settings, VM. This is the shared folder. We can create a shared folder on our host system and we can access it from the guest operating system. First, we need to create a shared folder. Let's say shared one. Let's share it with full permission. And we can access the shared folder from the guest. So map as a network drive, add, click next. So this is the shared folder path. Name is shared one, okay. Now enable this share and we can mount the share as read only. Click finish. Now it will be in read write mode. And we will find it as a network drive on the system. So here, shared folder shared one if we create folder let's say from guest and on the system we can find the folder from guest and if we copy any file here let's say on the shared folder we are copying this file and from the guest os it will see the file and it can run also. So in this way, we can share files and folders from host to guest operating system. So it's a nice feature. Now let's open the VNC connection. Let's go to setting. VNC connection is disabled. Enable VNC connection. We have enabled VNC connection on this virtual machine. This virtual machine will be listened on 5901 port. And on the Windows 7, we have 5900. Let's open the VNC viewer. My, my host PC IP is 50.101, so we will connect to 5.900. It will connect to Windows 7, so here is the Windows 7. We can work from here. So you can see that I'm working here and it is reflecting on the virtual machine. If we close the window it reflects on the VNC viewer now let's connect to 5901 it will connect to Windows 10 PC yes so we are successfully connected to each virtual machine through VNC viewer so this is it for today Thank you for being with me. And if you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. It will encourage me a lot to create more videos for you. So thank you. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.